We'll take you now uh, to a different perspective. Student protesters also camping out on George Washington University's campus as demonstrations over the anti uh, the Israel Hamas war continue. Didn't that sign on the tent say no justice, no peace? But they're peaceful. Make it make sense. National correspondent Alana Austin live at George Washington University with the latest going on at that campus. Alana, what's happening there? Yeah. Hi, good morning, Sean and Emma. And as you said there, I heard them just moments ago chanting, no justice, no peace. Of course, although people who are defending this encampment will say they are peaceful. Now, this has become a major political divide as congressional leaders are concerned about a wave of anti-Semitism reports on college campuses. Now, we know there are still dozens of these activists out here. You can see that this has been going on now for a couple of days from the rally that was held and now overnight they are still here. Now, some folks did clear out in the morning, um, but this is still going strong. We also heard them chanting, Israel, Israel, go to hell, free, free Palestine, and from the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. Now, they're calling on the school to cut off any financial ties to Israel. Dozens of tents are still camped out here. School leaders have said as of last night it needed to be cleared. There's a large police presence on campus, but so far law enforcement in D.C. have not moved in to break this up. All of this happening as students, faculty and staff are in the thick of preparing for final exams and graduation season. Well, some protesters again left this morning, but there still are dozens of others. There's a metal railing that has been placed around the perimeter of the encampment. Some had been concerned about consequences, such as risking arrest or academic penalties. We know the activists held a rally. They also placed a kafia on the statue of George Washington, and they're joining, joining forces with the wave of other encampments and anti-Israel protests on college campuses around the country. Well, the president of George Washington University, as well as other top leaders here, had said they have asked the D.C. Metropolitan Police Department to step in here, standing by to provide assistance. And here is part of that statement. We will read it again. It's from President Ellen Granberg and Provost and Executive Vice President for Academic Affairs, Christopher Allen Bracey. So it says in part, quote, the encampment, unlike some demonstrations in the past, is an unauthorized use of university space at this location and violated several university policies. So they go on to say such activities are inconsistent with the university's mission, values, and commitment to providing a safe environment for all students and employees. Well, Sean and Emma, we know that top leaders, including Speaker Mike Johnson and other Republicans, they went up to Columbia University this week. They were calling on some of these university leaders to resign if they cannot get a control, if they allow anti-Semitism to be spreading on college campuses. On the other hand, we've heard from Democrats, including President Joe Biden and Representatives Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and Ilhan Omar, in many ways encouraging these demonstrations, saying that the students are making an important point and that their free speech rights should be protected.